Ah, good times. Oh, are you like me and you want to play with real dinosaurs? Not the ones you make yourself? Well, have I got just the game for you coming up? So, if you're anything like me and you like dinosaurs, dragons, or anything to do with animals, then Creatures of Sonia, or Sonia, however you pronounce it, is something to look into. It is a Roblox game, but it is a dinosaur slash animal slash flyer simulator where you play as the animal and you go around, you eat, you grow, you drink water, you nest, you make babies, you do what everything you'd expect. So in this video we're going to take a look at it. I haven't played an extensive amount of hours, I haven't been on this for days, I've probably played about five to six hours worth but I think I've got a round enough picture to talk about it and tell you guys what my thoughts, feelings are and basically if it's any good. So like we just said, gameplay basically consists of going round, spending time as your chosen dinosaur, dragon, animal, whatever these, these things are, and um, spending this time to grow, which improves your stats, your fighting ability, your abilities, and unlocks weird mushroom currency, which they call shrooms, which is uh, interesting. We love a magic mushroom. So in effect, the longer you play, the more magic mushrooms you earn to then you'll use this magic mushrooms to spend and unlock other carnivores, herbivores, omnivores, flyers, fish things, all kinds of dinosaurs and dragons or whatever it is we're going to use to unlock. So once you've selected your chosen creature or monstrosity, whatever they are, you spawn in in the world where you can chat with other players who are other dinosaurs um, they've all got different stats, different like rankings or different tiers, so it tells you if a dinosaur, animal, whatever these things are, uh, strong, weak, whatever, so they rank them in tiers. Like I said, the gameplay is st fairly straightforward. You spawn in, you look for food, you look for water, you survive, and you just basically take on this creature's personality while earning all these crazy magic mushrooms to further enhance your gameplay to unlock bigger, stronger creatures. Oh, mushrooms, mushrooms everywhere. Now all these creatures have got their own like calls, emotes, uh, what else do you call it? I suppose like um, pauses you can put them in, like lie down, stand up, sleep, all this type of stuff. Um, there is also weather in the game, there's seasons in the game. So I've seen with the, the weather, there's rain, there's tornadoes, which is a strange one, natural disasters, I haven't seen any of them. But um, I'm yet to see the effects on the dinosaur. I know that the rain stops the flyers, and I'm assuming the tornado would pick people up like in Twister and fling you around and chuck you everywhere. There's also like certain um, status buffs and debuffs which affect your creature, dinosaur, dragon, whatever we're going to call them. Like, <clears throat> for example, you can be poisoned, you can bleed if other dinosaurs bite you, there's comfort levels, so these disasters, rain, etc. will decrease your comfort, which I'm assuming slows your growth or maybe even damages your health over time. Because with this game, there was no in-game tutorial as such, there's very little to tell you what's going on, I was just magically going around, clicking buttons and hoping for the best. I mean, there was literally nothing there to help me, I couldn't even find a guide. Not even the mushroom strawberry could help me. Now with the gameplay, in order to find your food, water, um, nesting sites, etc, you would need to do a sniff, as it's called, so you sniff, sniff everything up and you go and look for the water and you look for the food and it will direct you in the direction of which way you have to go, but you have to be in a certain vicinity to be able to do it. Obviously when you do the sniff as well, you can sniff out other players if you're a carnivore because they don't go looking for the bushes, they go looking for players. So you use the sniff and it will tell you if there's a player close for you to go and hunt down and get some food KFC chicken. What I do like about this game as well is the level of customization on your chosen creature. So after you've got your chosen creature, you can then go into like a character customizer, which you can paint, you can use colors, you can unlock different color palettes as well using your crazy mushroom currency so you can then customize it the way you see fit paint bits of the creature any color you like and I think that's pretty cool 
So the gameplay itself, I quite enjoyed it. It was quite fun, it was quite engaging. It didn't feel like it was taking too long to become like the next tier when you're growing, so when you're a baby. It didn't feel like it was taking a length of time to be a teen and then into adult, and it was quite engaging, I enjoyed it. There was lots of communication between other dinosaurs when you're out and about in the world, and it was good fun. But there is a big but in this. The lag was, on occasion, game-breaking, where, where myself and my partner, Celate, were trying to capture smaller creatures because there's a grab mechanic in the game as one of uh, the creature's abilities, and as a flyer, we thought it'd be funny to go along and pick up these babies and carry them off, which we've done successfully on a couple of occasions, but when it went laggy, I couldn't tell whether I'd picked it up, whether it was dancing on the ceiling, whether I was dancing on the ceiling, and I was running into rocks, rubber banding left, right and centre, and that was not a fun experience. But that was probably the only negative I could find, apart from not being able to navigate the menu successfully and not knowing really what I was doing at the start. But other than that, it was a very enjoyable experience for a free game on Roblox, you know, Creatures of Sonia, Sarnia, however you pronounce it, was actually quite fun and enjoyable. Some of the creature designs are really quirky and weird, but I, I like that. It's, it's different from the standard T-Rex or Velociraptor you would see. They were all quite unique and in their own way, you know, had their own abilities as well. Like some creatures would emit radiation, others would breathe fire. And it was just fun. I enjoyed it. You know, like I said, I didn't play this for a, a, a lengthy period of time. I would say about five to six hours, something along on them lines. I don't know the, the longevity of the game, so whether you could keep playing this for weeks and weeks and weeks to grind out all these creatures and, and catch all, catch them all, like in Pokemon, <laughs> because there's a lot of creatures to catch. You know, you can collect a lot of herbivores, dinosaurs, whatever you want to call them, but there are lots of uh, creatures you can collect, so this could be a collector's best dream. Hello everyone, if you're watching this, you've watched it right until the end, so thank you very much. I really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed the video with my silly humour as well. Um, I just want to say a massive thanks to everyone who's been watching and supporting me over the past couple of months. Massive thanks to Celate, the guys in the Discord. The Discord is on the screen but there right now if you want to check it out. Um, if you did like the video, obviously please give it a like and if you want to see more from me, please click the subscribe button and it's free and you'll get to see many more videos from me and don't forget to click the bell because if I release a video and you haven't clicked the bell you won't get to see it and um, yeah so thanks for watching to the end guys hope you enjoyed it and um, don't forget to join our discord don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one I've been Shadows see you later